Hello students, I hope you all are good. Today we are going to start with a new session of surface areas and volumes. This is our second session of this chapter. Before that, let us know what are the learning outcomes of this session. You will be learning about the curved surface area, total surface area and volume of different solid shapes. Also, you will be learning about the volume of combination of solid figures. Before starting, let us revise our initial concepts. Volume of cube. What is volume of cube? It is A cube. What is A here? A is the one side or one edge of the cube. Similarly, volume of cuboid is given as length into width into height. Length is, this is the length, this is the width and this is the height. So, volume of cuboid is given by length into width into height. Let us move forward. Volume of a cylinder. This is a cylinder and the volume is given by pi r square h. Pi can be taken as 22 by 7 or 3.14 according to the question. Also, what is r? r is the radius. r is the radius of the cylinder and h, h is the height of the cylinder. This is h. Similarly, volume of a cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h. Again, r will be the radius of the cone and h will be the height of the cone. I hope it is clear. So, let us move forward. Volume of a sphere. This is a sphere and the volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube. What is r? r is again the radius of the sphere. Similarly, volume of the hemisphere will be 2 by 3 pi r cube. Note that volume of a hemisphere is half of the volume of the sphere and r is again the radius of the hemisphere. I hope this is clear. So, let us move forward. These are combination of solids and we have to study about the volume of these combination of solids. Here we have an ice cream. This is a combination of a hemisphere as well as a cone. Similarly, we have a rocket, a toy rocket and we can see a cone and a cylinder. Similarly, we have a capsule. What is this? It is a combination of a cylinder and two hemispheres. So, now we are going to study about the volume of these combination of figures. So, let us move forward and do some examples. A solid is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere with both their radii being equal to 1 centimeter and the height of the cone is equal to its radius. Find the volume of the solid in terms of pi. This is a solid. We have a hemisphere and a cone on this hemisphere. A solid is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere. Radius and height of the cone are the same. The radius of the cone and the height of the cone, these are same. And what is this? This is 1 centimeter, right? Radius of hemispherical part is equal to radius of the conical part. And we have known that radius of the cone is 1 centimeter. So, radius of the hemisphere will also be 1 centimeter and height of the conical part will also be 1 centimeter. Now, volume of this solid, this complete solid will be volume of the conical part, this is the conical part plus volume of the hemispherical part. So, let us move forward and substitute the formulas. Volume of the solid will be 1 by 3 pi r square h. What is this? This is the volume of the cone and 2 by 3 pi r cube. This is the volume of the hemisphere. Adding this both, we have this. Taking common and taking the LCM, we get pi r cube. Now, we need the answer in the terms of pi. We know that r, the radius is 1 centimeter. So, substituting r as 1 centimeter, we get the answer as pi centimeter cube. I hope this is clear. So, let us move forward. We have another example a gulab jamun, your favorite. A gulab jamun contains sugar syrup up to about 30 percent of its volume. Find approximately how much syrup would be found in 45 gulab jamuns, each shaped like a cylinder 
with two hemispherical ends with length 5 cm and diameter 2.8 cm. Each gulab jamun shape is like a cylinder, like a cylinder with two hemispherical ends with length 5 cm and diameter 2.8 cm. We have two hemispherical ends and the length of the gulab jamun is 5 cm and the diameter is 2.8 cm. Now, each gulab jamun contains sugar syrup up to about 30 percent of its volume. Length of the cylindrical part, what is the length of the cylindrical part? It is length of the gulab jamun minus twice the radius of the hemispherical part. See, this is the length of the gulab jamun and we have to find the length of the hemispherical part. So, what is the length of the hemispherical part? This complete length subtracting the radii of both the hemispherical ends from the complete length. So, diameter of the gulab jamun we know this, diameter is equal to cylindrical part. Radius of the cylindrical part is also equal to radius of this hemispherical part. So, let us move forward and solve this. Diameter of the gulab jamun is given as D 2.8 centimeter. Radius will be 2.8 centimeter divided by 2 that is 1.4 centimeter. Now, length of the cylindrical part is this is complete is 5. So, 5 minus twice of 1.4 which comes out to be 2.2 centimeter. So, length of this cylindrical part this much it is 2.2 centimeter. Okay. Now, volume of one gulab jamun will be volume of a cylindrical part plus twice of volume of these hemispherical ends. So, let us solve this. Volume of one gulab jamun can be given as pi r square h plus twice of 2 by 3 pi r cube. Pi r square h is the volume of the cylinder whereas 2 by 3 pi r cube is volume of each hemispherical end. Solving this further, what we have is pi r square common bracket h plus 4 by 3 r. Now, what you have to do is substituting the values of pi r and h. We have 22 by 7 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 bracket 2.2 plus 4, 4 by 3 into 1 by 4. Why 1.4? 1.4 is the radius, right? So, calculating it further and simplifying it, we have 75.152 divided by 3 centimeter cube. This is the volume of, this is the volume of the complete gulab jamun, okay? I hope this is clear. So, let us move forward. Volume of 45 gulab jamuns. We want to know about volume of 45 gulab jamuns. We have the volume of one gulab jamun as this. What we need to do is, we need to multiply 45 by the volume of one gulab jamun. Calculating this, we have the volume of 45 gulab jamuns as 1127.28 centimeter cube. So, the next thing and the last thing, what according to the question we want? We want sugar syrup and what is the volume of the sugar syrup? It is 30 percent of the volume of 45 gulab jamuns. So, 30 percent of this volume. Calculating this further, what we have is 338 centimeter cube. This is the sugar syrup in 45 gulab jamuns. I hope it is clear. So, let us move forward. A pen stand, you can see a pen stand here. A pen stand made of wood is in the shape of a cuboid with four conical depressions to hold pens. The dimensions of the cuboid are 15 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 3.5 centimeter. The radius of each of the depressions is 0 0.5 centimeter and the depth is 1.4 centimeter. What we have to find? We have to find the volume of the wood in the entire stand. So, a wooden pen, a wooden pen stand, this is a wooden pen stand, 
it is in the shape of a cuboid right and four conical depressions like see this is a cuboid and we have one two three and four four conical depressions you can see the cones here right the dimensions of the cuboid are given as 15 centimeter into 10 centimeter into 3.5 centimeter radius of each conical depression is 0 0.5 centimeter also we have been given that depth of the conical depression is 1.4 centimeter what do you mean by depth depth means the height of this cone this much this is 1.4 centimeter the conical depressions do not contain wood these are empty since the dimensions of all four conical depressions are the same they will have identical volumes also volume of wood of the entire pen stand this is the entire pen stand right what is the volume volume will be the volume of the wooden cuboid minus why minus because they are empty the conical depressions are empty so minus fourth of the volume of conical depressions so let us calculate this we have depth of each conical depression h1 as 1.4 centimeter and radius of each conical depression is r that is 0 0.5 centimeter now dimensions of the cuboid you already know are 15 into 10 into 3.5 centimeter let us calculate the volume putting up the formula we have lbh this what is this lbh is the volume of the cuboid and 1 by 3 pi r square h1 this is volume of one conical depression and we have four conical depressions right substituting the values all l b h pi r h1 substituting all the values and simplifying it further we have the volume of the pen stand as 523.53 centimeter cube i hope this is clear right so let us move forward to our next question a solid iron pole consisting of a cylinder of height 220 centimeter and base diameter 24 centimeter which is surmounted by another cylinder of height 60 centimeter and radius 8 centimeter mass of 1 centimeter cube iron is 8 grams here we can use pi as 3.14 now radius of the larger cylinder this is the larger cylinder and radius is r this is given as 24 by 2 that is 12 centimeter so radius of the larger cylinder is 12 centimeter right now height of the larger cylinder will be capital h that is given in the question as 220 centimeter also the radius of the smaller cylinder see this is the smaller cylinder and its radius is already given as 8 centimeter height of the smaller cylinder small h is given as 60 centimeter so volume of the solid iron pole what will be the volume of this pole it will be volume of the larger cylinder plus volume of the smaller cylinder so and also we are given that mass of the pole is 8 grams into volume of the solid so let us calculate volume of the solid pole substituting the formulas pi r square h so what is capital r capital r is the radius of the larger cylinder capital h capital h is the height of the larger cylinder small r is the radius of the smaller cylinder and small h is the height of the smaller cylinder substituting all the values and calculating it further we have the volume of the solid iron pole as 1,11,532.8 centimeter cube. So let us move forward and find the mass. Mass of the iron is given as 8 grams. So mass of 1 centimeter cube is 8 into the volume and 8 gram into the volume of the solid. This is the volume. Calculating it further, we have and converting it into kg that is kilogram what we get is 892.2624 kilograms so this is the total mass of the iron of this 
entire pole. I hope this is clear. So, let us move forward. This is the summary, the summary of our session. So, what we have learned today? We have learned about the volume of the cube as V is equal to A cube, A is the edge of the cube. Volume of the cuboid as length into width into height and volume of cylinder, it is pi r square h. What is r? r is the radius of the cylinder and h, h is the height of the cylinder. Similarly, volume of cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h. Again, r is the radius of the cone and h is the height of the cone and volume of the sphere will be 4 by 3 pi r cube. r is again the radius of the sphere. Similarly, volume of the hemisphere will be half of the volume of the sphere that is 2 by 3 pi r cube. r is again the radius of the hemisphere. Also, you have studied about the application of these formulas to find the volume of combination of figures. I hope all these concepts are clear. Have a nice time. Thank you.